Um, the author of this, the Hunger Games series, Suzanne Collins, once said, Knowing it and seeing it are two different things. Some people may see that I have a birthmark on my face, but I like to act like I don't know it. Of course, I know I'm a little bit different because I have a red birthmark on my red cheek, but I've lived with it since the, the moment I was born and I'll live with it until the day I die. So I've always tried to disregard this difference. By doing this, I would say I hide my identity and try not to act like I'm different. Hiding my identity through my birthmark has uncommon outcomes. It is tricky, gives me confidence, and improves my character. First, my birthmark is tricky. Having something different about your appearance throws people off. It tricks everyone involved, including me. In high school, no one asked for my birthmark, so that means I never thought about it. And since I didn't think about it, I didn't even realize it was there. I'm also not really sure what people think of me. When they see it, they could think that I did get into a fight or that um, it's just my birthmark. I'm a completely normal person, but some people think that I'm different. One positive to my birthmark is I've never been picked on. Some people might think that I did get into a fight, so they don't want to get into a fight with me. Also, one negative to my birthmark is pity is taken on me. People feel sorry for me, and they don't want to mess with me. The tricks my birthmark throws on me gives me a weird sense of confidence. I think I'm a little bit better than everyone else because I am a little different. I think it's cool not to be normal. My birthmark also makes me feel invincible. I use it to my advantage. I think I'm a tough guy with a battle scar. I'm not afraid to have any other facial blemishes, blemishes as well. Having confidence for my birthmark also improves my character. My birthmark is largely hidden to me, but I still know it's there, so I just use it as a benefit to my character. Adding my identity to myself does not affect my appearance to everybody else. Because of this, I must be like ignorant to my birthmark and try to fit in with all crowds of people and not and make them dig deeper instead of looks. Um, I also largely don't care how people um, think of or how people see me because it is just a birthmark and it's not really a big deal at all. Expecting people to look past my own appearance also makes me do the same for others. I'm accepting and I don't judge and I expect others to do the same with me. Everyone has an identity, but sometimes you must have to first break what you think it is to find what it really is. I have my own identity. It's just always hidden. I'll hide my identity to others by increasing the uncertainties, showing uncharacteristic confidence, and using it to my advantage. I like my birthmark and I'm proud of it. I won't get mad if people stare at it or people ask me about it because I would probably do the same thing. Hiding my identity is my choice.